Hi, this is Aldrema Harper, and I want to welcome you to another training for the Kingdom-Focused Entrepreneur. Hi, and welcome to another segment for the Kingdom-Focused Entrepreneur. You know, I consider myself to be self-motivated, a self-motivated person. And what I mean by that is that it doesn't take much to get me motivated or to keep me motivated. And I don't rely on others to motivate me. But just like anyone else, there are times when I get a little bit discouraged and I need a little extra something just to move me along. It happens to the best of us, right? And that's what I want to talk about today. Motivation. What keeps you motivated? You know, if I was a fitness coach or trainer and I was coaching someone, I would say, if you want to stay motivated, if you want to reach some results, if you want to see some results, then I would say, even when you don't feel like it, just keep working out and you'll get some results. If I was a coach and I was coaching someone who was an author or a writer who was struggling perhaps with writer's block, I would say to them, just keep writing. But since I'm a coach for entrepreneurs, I'm an entre entrepreneur myself and I coach entrepreneurs to get results in terms of their pro productivity, I would say the same thing. Keep moving forward. Keep doing what it takes in order to get you from point A to point B. Do what it takes to get you from where you are now to where you want to be. But what happens when you don't see any results, even when you're just doing your best to keep moving and progressing? What happens when clients aren't buying your products or your services? No one's coming to your website. They're not even coming to your brick-and-mortar site or your physical site. Trust me, as an entrepreneur, I've experienced both of those. And trust me when I tell you, discouragement is always right there at your doorstop or at your doorstep. That's exactly what happens to me sometimes, even as I'm writing this article and creating this product for you. And for me, actually, it seems like nothing new has been happening in my business. Now, I'm experiencing some really good success in terms of my offline business and my organizing business. That's doing quite well. But I seem to be lacking just a little bit of innovation and motivation in my online business. I don't seem to be making any new strides or progress in some of the other areas of my business. Just, you know, just kind of feel stuck. I often wonder, though, how is it that some entrepreneurs seem to always have new and innovative ideas and products that they come out with on a consistent basis. What is it that they have that I don't have? I truly believe one way or one thing that they may have is a system and a way to teach yourself to be self motivated. What really helps is by determining what the outcome will be, how things will be, and how you will feel when you achieve it. That's what gives you the extra motivation you need sometimes to just get over that hump. Listen, I've been around you know, the self-improvement and the self-help industry for quite a while. And, you know, if you have, I'm sure you've, you know, heard of the importance of affirmations. You know, if you've, if you've been around it for any length of time, 
then you are aware of the power of your words and the importance of affirmations. Now, affirmations, that's definitely good for attaining, ob- obtaining success. There are people all over the world that's experiencing the benefits from affirmations. And you can get results from practicing affirmations in order to get control of your thoughts and thus resulting in success. But being self-motivated is more than just self-talk and affirmations. That's just a small portion of it. Motivation is about preparation. We must hear God's voice within us. We must hear his voice when he's trying to tell us to get started, to get started before others, to get started to get on our feet and try to push forward. Remember, it wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. He heard God's voice. He didn't wait to get started. When he heard God's voice to tell him to build the ark, he got started. He didn't have to see the rain or the clouds approaching. He got started when he heard God's voice. So motivation is about preparation. Motivation is also about dedication. It's, it's only rare, a rare few people who really commit to the dedication that it takes to be in the 1% or 2% of highly successful entrepreneurs in their space. It really takes a certain amount of dedication, patience as well, but it takes commitment and dedication to get to that 1% and 2% of the highly successful people who are in their space. So number one, it's about preparation. Number two, it's about dedication. Number three, it's about determination. It's about not giving up. You know, I I know you've you've heard of Thomas Edison. (laughs) If you haven't, just turn on the lights. But he failed more than three times before he came up with his innovation and perfected the light bulb. So make determination your driving force need not only affirmation, but you need preparation, dedication, determination, but most of all you need implementation. Now, as I was about to say, there are some things that, some tangible things that I like to do in order to get myself motivated and stay motivated. Sometimes it's just, for me, just being in a different environment, that helps me to stay motivated. I may go over to a coffee shop, or Starbucks, or, or you know, some other location just so that I can get some work done and, and be inspired and motivated. Sometimes I like to watch, you know, a video program or something that really, that's really motivational that can really help me. Sometimes it's just about seeing others succeed that often motivates me and empowers me to do what I need to do and what it takes. When I see them, I can see sometimes what it takes to get there. Now, I'm sure you could think of a few more things to add to this list, no doubt. So I would encourage you, though, I would really encourage you to figure it out and then plan and implement it. Implement your plan. I mean, it is crucial that implementation is a part of that process. People are just waiting for you to coach and empower them to success. So do what you need to do in order to get yourself from where you are now to where you want to be.